Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Nathan with theebookreader.com. For this video, we're gonna do a review of the Kobo Forma. Uh, so the Kobo Forma is uh, Kobo's latest ebook reader. It's got an eight inch ink screen and it's the first Kobo to have a flexible plastic based screen. Uh, so for added durability and lightness. So uh, it's also the first Kobo to have page buttons in like eight years uh, back before they even had touch screens. So uh, uh, you can rotate it left or right handed uh, the screen has that sensor so it'll automatically rotate also rotates to landscape mode so you got the power button on the bottom it's very hard for some reason it's not easy to accidentally press in that position that's for sure um, and then you've also got the regular usb port so this device it's waterproof as well uh, the design sort of tapers down to a smaller point there and then you got that sort of like flare for the uh, page buttons uh, then on the back it's got this uh, texture to it it's got like a rubbery coating and then it's got this pattern on the back it's uh, it is comfortable to hold uh, then in the text, it's got the 300 PPI, so uh, it looks nice and clear. So uh, here's a quick look uh, comparing it to the 6-inch Kobo Claire HD to get an idea of the size difference. So you get a lot more text on the screen with the 8-inch e-reader. Um, and it's not a whole lot heavier since they're using the plastic-based screen. It's still under 200 grams. Uh, here's a quick look at it next to the Kobo Aura 1 just to see the difference in the shape, how much wider it is. So uh, let's take a look at the front light here. It has the front light with adjustable color temperature, so you can use the cool light and you can also switch over to a little bit more of a warm color i kind of like it with just a little bit of warm color to it um, and then you can go all the way to the far end of the scale with the warm color as well um, and then it's a little bit more yellow it's definitely more yellow than it was on the Kobo Aura one where it's a lot more orange so um, sometimes you can see with the front light it flickers a little bit in this video so i don't know that's just something i've noticed with the Kobo. some other people have posted videos with it as well you can't see the flickering by the with the naked eye at all but what you can see with the naked eye is that it's brighter on one side of the screen than it is on the other uh, i can't really notice it here in landscape mode because it puts the shadowy area at the bottom of the screen so it sort of has like a dark strip where the page buttons are located along that side of the screen and then it's brighter on the other side of the screen so i don't know it's just one of those things that if you're sensitive to the front light issues then you may want to pass on this device so let's move on to talking about some of the e-reading features now um, so the Kobo Forma is actually the first Kobo that supports landscape mode um, and it does it well because if you wanted to use large font sizes for instance this is the device to get because uh, you get a lot more words on the page uh, here in landscape mode than you do like a typical six inch e-reader so you don't have to page forward so much you get more um, text on the screen and it also has very small font sizes as well if you want to use font small fonts um, that's actually not the smallest size either. That's one uh, good thing with Kobo is they always have a lot of font sizes. You've got uh, several fonts to choose from. You can also add your own fonts uh, to a font folder on the uh, on the Kobo itself if you wanted to add some other fonts. Um, they also got this advanced menu where you can go in and make the text bolder or sharper if you want. So that's always been a strength with Kobo as far as the you know the layout options and you've got some good um, ways to customize the text or how you want it to look. Uh, in the settings menu here, you can actually change uh, which page button page forward and which one page is back. Uh, you got some different tap zones here for using the touch screen. You can set the uh, page forward if you didn't want to use the buttons to swiping only or tapping and swiping. Uh, so we've got some new settings in here. You've got the show title and show footer. This is new with the Kobo Forma. Previously, you used to always have to have the header and footer visible unless you used a hack to get rid of it. But now you can come in here, put them in if you don't want to. You can also lock the reading orientation to portrait or landscape, but you can't lock the uh, in one specific spot. So you've also got some different options down here for your reading progress indicator, which is shown um, down here. And then you also got this little, like when you have the footer on, it'll show you how many pages you got left of the chapter, or it'll give you percentage depending on what you have it set as. I kind of like just having the footer without the header. You get some, get more text on the screen, but then you can still see how many pages are left in the chapter. Uh, up here, you got the orientation lock for the sensor. Got your front light adjustment from the main, from the menu right here. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before is it also has this automatic adjustment for the natural light. Uh, it uses a time-based method where it'll go based off the time of day. You got your Wi-Fi right here, uh, and then your battery percentage indicator. Uh, this right here, this syncs, uh, syncs uh, with your Kobo account, and then you've got search up here with this icon. Uh, then when you run searches on the Kobo, it'll give you a list. They recently they used to have like a limited to 100 results, but they got rid of that uh, limitation a while back with some of the uh, uh, with a software update. So you got your list here. You can jump back and forth between uh, the words. So you can go back to your results, or you can scroll through the different appearances of the word by using the arrows. So uh, search results do work pretty well in the Kobo. Uh, so then from the lower menu here, you've also got the option. 
Uh, so this is a library book, so you got the option to return it. You can view your annotations list, which uh, has all your notes, highlights, uh, bookmarks, stuff like that. You can also view the details of the book. Uh, another thing Kobos have is this uh, reading indicator down here. So this estimated reading timer, it'll give you like an estimate of how long it'll take you to finish the this chapter, the next chapter, and the book. And it also kind of gives you this like visual graph of like how long the chapters are in relationship to each other. Uh, you got the table of contents to jump back and forth between you know, different locations of the book. Uh, the page buttons, um, you can actually hold down the page buttons and it'll fast scan through the pages, which is really nice. Uh, so I really like the feel of the page buttons. I got good responsiveness. i um, always been a big fan of the page buttons. Up here on the menu list, you've got some other options like your home screen, your library view. So one annoying thing about like the entire interface is portrait mode only. So even when you're using landscape mode, uh, when you're reading, anytime you go anywhere else, it's going to switch it to portrait mode. So none of that stuff supports landscape mode, just reading does. So the Kobo home screen here, you got some different things that'll show you like your uh, related recommended titles and like the titles in your, your recently read. Uh, this is a PDF. I already showed a dedicated review for PDF, so I'm not going to get into that with this video. You can check out my YouTube channel if you want to see the PDF review. Uh, you can check out your section here for your books, which goes to your library view. you got a couple different views, cover view and list view. You've got some different sorting and filtering options, which is nice. You can filter by authors and collections as well. So uh, one thing I like about these page buttons, the way they're implemented, uh, is you can actually use them to scroll through your library, and you can also use them to scroll through the Kobo store. All right, so here's a quick look at a sideloaded ebook. This is an EPUB. So Kobo's devices support EPUB, KeyPub, a bunch of formats. Uh, it still has that problem with sideloaded EPUBs where it has that huge waste of space at the bottom. It's an issue with the Adobe Reader. Uh, you can get rid of that if you code the books yourself, but it's just kind of an annoying thing. So a quick look at the dictionary. You've got some different translation dictionaries you can install. It comes with some dictionaries pre-installed. Um, and then you've also got the notes and highlights. So people often wonder about how highlighting works on Kobo's devices because it used to be really poor. Uh, it's definitely improved a lot over the years. Um, but if you have to adjust it all, that's where things come uh, kind of get wonky. So if you try to adjust it to here, sometimes it'll go right to the word. Sometimes it'll cut the word in half. Um, right there, it worked well. So, uh, But if you want to go ahead and readjust it after you've already put it down, it's that's where things get weird. So it starts getting all laggy. And then it's like the dot's not going where it should go. Um, so yeah, then it only ends in half the word. So if you nail the highlight on your first try, it works well, but if you have to adjust it all, it doesn't work well. There's also no way to export highlights other than Facebook on here. Here's a quick look at a manga on the uh, Kobo Forma. Obviously with the larger screen, uh, content like this, as well as like comics are going to be well suited for this type of device. Uh, it does look good. Pages forwards relatively quick. It also supports CBR and CBZ files. Um, so another thing with this uh, format is has large print mode. Actually, all Kobo's do here. It's in the beta features. So uh, obviously with the larger screen here, it's more suited for this mode. If you have poor eyesight or something, you can come in, turn on large uh, print mode, and then everything gets scaled up in the menus, your home screen, everything's larger. Uh, the text will remain the same depending on how you have it set, but like your menus, everything else gets larger, easier to read. So it's definitely an advantage if with this larger screen if you uh, have some vision problems. So, I mean, I really like reading on the Kobo Forma with the larger screen. You can uh, adjust the front light by swiping up and down the left side right there. I like how uh, the buttons feel and the light. It's nice and lightweight for its size. Still not 100% sold on this weird design like it and the Kindle Oasis having the buttons on the side. I think I'd just rather have them at the bottom personally, but, I mean, it is a nice device. It's got some unique characteristics. Uh, it has a couple issues with the front light, so, I mean, if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, you might want to avoid this for now, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Check out the full written review on the ebookreader.com. Also, have some comparison reviews. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.